Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about matching skin tones. As you see, I have a photo here I took a few months ago. Um, it's a photo of a dark skinned model and um, I find I have an issue with the way her forehead and her cheeks are slightly bit more um, warm than her neck and her hands. So I just kind of want to tackle that and kind of show you how I work on matching the color on her face. Because you know you don't want it two different colors you want it to be nice and uniform so i created a spare layer which is con uh, command j and this way if i do any work i can um, you know kind of go back to it if it needs to be okay so first i might tackle those little bumps here just because they kind of annoy me so just get rid of them quickly and be back with you Okay, so this is the before, this is the after, so I just wanted to smooth the spots, um, the little kind of like light spots, just so they don't get in the way when we kind of work on the rest of the image. So now that I have that done, I am going to go and grab my uh, new layer, so just click on that, then select um, color blending mode, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this brush. Just a normal standard brush and I'm going to sample kind of mid-tone of her skin so somewhere around here I'd say and go on low flow around two that's fine and then just go over the areas that I feel that need a bit more kind of color and warmth so I'm just filling in the color there You know, it's the same with any other skin color. Sometimes you have a girl who's pale and the makeup artist put the wrong shade foundation on her and you know, it looks too dark. That's the way you can kind of match it as well. Or, you know, the rest of the body. If let's say somebody's face is more tanned than the rest of it or something. So that's always a good way. And it works for pretty much any skin color. And I find this is like a nice quick technique to do stuff. Um, it's very nice and simple, it's just one layer and you're pretty much sorted, so it's definitely worth looking at. Okay, now I'll show you the before and after. So as you see there's quite a difference um, by just doing that one color layer, we'll pretty much have the skin matched. So now I just see a tiny bit of darkness here in this area, I just want to fix it before we go ahead. So this area here I don't really like. Um, I might actually create a touch and burn layer. So just alt, new layer, soft light, and fill with 50% gray. I'm just going to create the one layer. I'm not going to create the other two just because it's um, handy for time. Uh, I'm going to grab the white brush. Flow is fine on two. And I'm just going to go slightly over the area. Another thing I find, and, and this is something that I don't have much experience with because this was possibly the only shoot I did with a darker skin model, and that's because I live in Ireland and there isn't really much um, diversity when it comes to, you know, modeling. We don't really have a lot of um, different colors and nationalities and stuff uh, when it comes to modeling. So, um, but I find when you do dodge and burn, you have to be very careful because um, if you go too hard on a skin that's darker, it's just going to make it look white. So just bear that in mind, it's just going to give it this kind of grayish undertone. As you see here, we fixed it a bit, but um, I feel like it's looking a tiny bit gray now. So I'm going to go back to my previous layer and sample the warm skin again, and then just go over that area again. So make sure that everything is perfectly matching and there is no kind of discoloration and stuff. Uh, but again, if you go overboard with um, Dutch and Burn, this is a very nice way to fix it. Just again, go, go over it with the color layer. I'll go over any other area that needs a tiny bit of brightness. I think everything like that is a kind of trial and error. Um, I'm just doing this for the first time and I find that this works the best for me. Um, I am in South Africa at the moment, I'm planning, planning a bit more shoots with a bit more diversity, so hopefully I will have more models to kind of train on, if that makes sense. Um, so just anywhere that I feel like it needs a bit of brightness, I'll just go over with Dutch and Burn. If I feel like I went overboard and it looks quite grey, I will just go back 
uh, with the color one. So again, grab it there and just add a tiny bit of color there. And I find that it works quite well. If you have a look now, it's a quite a big difference. Especially even if you look at the area here, it kind of lacks a bit of color and here. And now it looks nice and uniform. It's also in any like kind of knuckles and stuff like that, that works very well as well to kind of match the color. And it does a very nice job without ruining the texture because usually if you use um, a brush, if you go over the skin with the brush, it kind of kills the texture a bit. I'll show you now. I usually go over with a very low flow, around two. And this, this way you don't really kill the texture, but you smooth it out a bit. So if you're struggling with a lot of texture, this is a, a nice way to go. Um, it's not really a recommended method. It's a bit of a lazy method, but I find if you're struggling with retouching, especially at the beginning, I think it's an interesting way to go to kind of like slowly get to where you want to be when retouching. So I'll leave this for now. I might actually just go back there and just, I see a spot here. Okay, and now I'm going to add a curve layer. Now another thing is you don't want to push the highlights too hard because you don't want to make her skin look very bright or, you know, kind of, of colored. Okay, so I'll leave that at that. And then I'm going to use another curve layer this time. So I'm going to brighten it a bit, but then I do a contrast curve which kind of darkens it so it balances out. Okay. Now um, I'm going to go back with the dodge and burn and I'm going to brighten a few other spots that I see that are annoying me. Okay, and now just another maybe curve layer because I feel like I want this photo because the, the background is so bright I want the photo to be nice and contrasty So again, I'm going to go a bit lighter and Then go a bit more contrasty um, And then what I must, might also do just because I put so much contrast on it's going to turn the skin a tiny bit red So I'm going to go to hue saturation go maybe plus two on the skin to add a bit more yellows into it just a tiny bit i don't want to go overboard so maybe plus one even and then i'm going to desaturate the skin ever so slightly so it's not super strong and super in your face and then if i don't want to um, desaturate all the parts of her face i'm just going to go back with a black brush and just go over the areas that I want to keep colorful. So let's say the lips and so on. And I think that's it. I'm going to show you a little before and after. So as you see, we're doing just a few little things. We changed quite a bit. Um, we matched the skin very nicely. Um, you know, we kind of covered like any kind of darker patches and anything like that. Uh, we made the skin kind of nice and uniform. Okay, that's it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me because it kind of shows me what you guys like and what you don't like. And, you know, I want to build my channel in a way that you guys enjoy it and find it helpful. So please give me feedback, you know, write, comment, tell me what you want. And I will see you next time within my next video.